Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, guys. My name's Yemu. Glad you're here. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment, all the things. Okay. We're bald yet again. So I thought, why not react to my first bald head hair care video? I recorded a bald head hair care video two weeks after I shaved my head for the first time. It's a very good quality video with a lot of quality information and tips and that have helped many people. If you look at the comments, they speak for themselves. So I'm going to just react to it and see how it goes. It also happens to be my first reaction video and it only makes sense to react to an older video of mine. So let go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I'm already cringing. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like watching my older videos. But... A little over two weeks old. I did cut my hair on Let's the go. 11th of August. Today is the 27th. Oh, look I at really her. went bald. Like I have no hair. Videos will be linked below. Just I'll put so in a clip pretty. if I can of how my hair looked right after okay. shaving it off. And this is the progress so far. so far. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you <laughs> a few tips and tricks as to, to how I different. avoided dealing with razor bumps and flaky. I was happier. Okay, this because this been. is my first bald head, uh, but I managed to avoid and get away with not having to deal with a lot of things that even some pro bald headed people have to deal with. So today I'm gonna to be sharing those tips with you, okay? Lego. Oh, my old intro, the whole government name. How often do I wash my hair? So. When you shave your head for the first time, especially for the first time, you're going to deal with some things that you're not used to. There are things like razor bumps. There are things like flaking. Like what's happening? What are all these flakes? I never had to deal with this when I had hair. This is because your head is really trying to get used to what's going on. And also some of these processes we never got to see because they were covered by hair. Let me elaborate. Your scalp is not used to being shaved. So razor bumps occur because of the irritations and also sometimes it's because of ingrown hair. We just call it razor bumps because it's a bump and it happened after you shave. But sometimes ingrown hairs do um, appear as razor bumps. They create bumps because the hair is trying to come out but it cannot, okay? Sometimes maybe if you start using new products that could cause irritation which causes bumps. I really don't have much to add. Spitting facts, I concur. The other thing I mentioned was flaking. Your skin sheds throughout our whole body. We shed. We have cells that are dying every day. We have cells that are forming oh, every day. And we have cells that are just like, I'm at my optimum. I'm chilling. I'm looking good. I'm supple. You get what I'm saying? Those cells that are dying, they gotta go, right? They gotta shed. So your scalp is shedding. When you have hair, you don't see it, right? At wash day, you just wash it off, make sure, you know, that your scalp so, is um, clean. Yes, I agree with myself there. I honestly haven't been getting much sun. When I cut my hair there, we were getting out of summer, getting into fall, moving our way to winter. So I did get a lot of sun. Right now, I'm, I cut my hair and we're in the dead of summer and I do plan on going outside more. Things have happened lately that have caused me to wanna live in my closet under all my clothes and never come out to see the sun again. So I'm gonna, I need to remember that, you know, go back outside and just get that to bring me up again. So yes, thanks for the tip girl. But what you're washing off is all the product buildup, all the oil that's on there and also the dead skin. When you have a bald head, you can now actually see the dead skin because it's not covered by hair. Another thing is I am chatty. <laughs> the elements, right? You're now exposed. You, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm all about absorbing the sun. The sun heals me internally, externally. I'm all about the sun. The sun is the sun is is what we need on Earth. Without the sun, what are we getting? Let's get into it. So, yes, guys, don't be that black girl that's scared of getting dark. Go out there and get healed by the sun. It's a mood regulator. It helps your bones, your skin. Everything about the sun is awesome. Okay. Get enough sun every day is all I'm saying. We have the sun that's hot. It's burning our scalp. We're now moving into winter. Right? It's gonna be dry. The air is gonna be dry. All the moisture has been sucked out of your scalp by the air. Unlike in the summer in Alabama and other humid areas, you know, your scalp is pretty much gonna be unmoisturized most of the time because the air is humid. There's a lot of water in the air. So you're not having, you don't have to deal with that. So you're now dealing with elements earthly elements right so your scalp is going to shed sometimes faster sometimes slower but you're going to shed how i avoid dealing with looking flaky and also bumps this is what i do how often do i wash my hair every day to elaborate on that i rinse my hair every single day 
I do take showers daily. Okay, so every time I take a shower, I rinse my head, okay? I get to get that moisture on there and then the extra oil or dead skin gets to just wash away with the water. Now, every single Wednesday, this has been my process for the past two weeks. Is it going to continue that way? Probably until my hair is a little longer and then I'm going to have to do some adjustments. But until I can no longer see my scalp, this is what I'm going to be doing and maybe more frequently as needed if need be. I do the whole wash process on Wednesdays. Now this means that I exfoliate, I shampoo, and I deep condition, but in the form of a hot oil treatment. But what I do is before I even wash my hair, before I get in the water, before I get any moisture on my scalp, I grab my brush. Now I do have two brushes that I use differently. We'll get into this a little bit later, but this is the one that I use. I bought this for a few dollars at Walmart and it has a rough side which i don't know who uses this side of the brush you must be going through a lot okay you must be going through a lot <laughs> okay i use this side that they call soft which isn't really soft this is just is hard right so what i do is brush all over my hair i'm not gonna do that right now because i'm today's not wednesday okay it's monday but i rub through all of my hair and what this is gonna do is lift all that dead skin this is like step one of exfoliation the first exfoliation Okay, so I no longer use that brush. Uh, I have the other brush, but honestly, depending on whether or not my new exfoliation tactics go, um, depending on how well my new exfoliation tactics go, I do not think I will be using the brush. That's all I'm gonna say for now. I jump into the shower, I rinse it off. I then take some oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever carrier oil I have at that time is I take that and a bit of white sugar. On my face, I use brown sugar because it's finer and softer, but um, on my head, I do like to use white sugar because it's, it's more coarse. You know, it's coarser, more coarse. It's, it's, it's coarser or more coarse. You know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> okay. So that's what I use, and I use that to exfoliate all of my head. Guys, in that moment, I am stimulating blood flow because I'm giving myself a massage while I exfoliate. Because I'm using an oil, which is gentle on my scalp. I'm like, not causing too much irritation or friction on my scalp. Even though I'm using that sugar mm -hmm. to create some of that friction, to make sure that I'm getting all the dead skin off, to make sure I'm getting all of the debris, the buildup off. Um, well, not all of it because we're gonna shampoo anyways. Okay, so no. <laughs> now, yes, it worked for me then, and yes, that is what I did, but for now, for me and mine, moving forward, I will not be dealing with sugar. I do not, I'm not a fan of physical, mechanical, manual exfoliation. I'm just not. I've been more into chemical exfoliation. So using the sugars and stuff, that that did serve me well when I did that. I enjoyed it. It worked well. My skin was glowing, as you can see, with or without makeup. My scalp was happy with what I was doing. But I'm going to try it differently because mm, the way chemical exfoliation has worked for my skin on my face, I think we're going to introduce that to my scalp. So no sugar scrubs. It still works. It still it still works and I wouldn't no longer would recommend the white sugar at all just stick to the brown sugar if you're going to do sugar scrubs whether it's the face or the scalp I know my thought process then was oh this this has a little bit of more oomph when it comes to the roughness but stay away from the white sugar don't scrub with white sugar gosh you are just tearing up your skin when you do that so don't don't but yeah to okay. do all of that I use an oil and a sugar, and that helps exfoliate and remove any mm -hmm. extra off my scalp. After that, I then shampoo. Like I've mentioned in many videos, I always use a shampoo that either yes. has mint or tea tree or a combination of the two because those are awesome for my scalp. I have a sensitive scalp and it likes to act crazy. That's why I take a lot of measures and do a lot to take care of it. Crazy thing is it no longer acts crazy. Ever since I bleached my hair, that first bleaching that I did, ever since that time, I haven't had any scalp madness. Does it itch from time to time? Yeah, once in a while. But I haven't been maintaining my scalp. I haven't, it's no longer part of one of those things that I have to keep, um, keep an eye on. I no longer buy, my shampoo is no longer catered to sensitive scalp if you get what I'm saying. I'm good. I don't know if the bleach killed the bacteria that was making me itch or what, but since I bleached my hair, I guess, it is what it is. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, cause girl, 
my scalp was on another level ever since I was a kid. Like it would itch like crazy, no matter what I used, it would itch like crazy. What I did helped calm it down, but now I'm barely, barely ever any itchiness. <laughs> now, after that, I then apply my oil. So on my scalp, I use two oils, right? I use yes. this oil, which is made by a company. And then I use this oil as well on my hair and on it my body, open. which is made by me. In this oil, I have a lot of oils that I love to use on my skin that have a lot of benefits and yada, yada, yada. So I use okay. this in me. So I've had many, I've had many people ask me what was in that oil. The one that I made with the carrier oils, blah, blah, blah. I've had questions in my um, comments asking me what's in that oil, your DIY oil. And I don't know, I think a part of me wanted to make that oil and start selling it. But things happened in life and I just was like, you know, so I didn't want to give away the recipe um, for everything because I did want to start manufacturing my own concoction and I was still testing it out to see if it works on my hair and it did work and it smells so good but I'm just gonna tell you the ones that I remember I have it written down I have like a whole business plan that needs to be put into action you hear me but from what I can remember is the carrier oils I use jojoba and sweet almond and in there I added some eucalyptus I added rosewood um I can't remember the rest, but I know that the scent came from the eucalyptus and rosewood. The benefits were the benefits, but those are the oils I remember off the top of my head. There are a few more, but again, they're written down on paper uh, in a file somewhere. So, yeah. Immediately after that process. Now, for the rest of the week, I use this oil. But for that day that I do wash every single Wednesday, this is the only oil I use. I do not use this after opening oh my, my pores because oh especially if you do scratch your scalp it will give you a sensation <laughs> that is uncomfortable okay so i grab that oil my diy oil i use that after i've done my shampoo and scrubbing and everything i heat that up a little bit just a little bit get a little warm then i apply it on my scalp i put on a plastic bag for about five minutes wow. i did a lot i don't go longer than that because it's not needed I <laughs> okay doing i that. put it on for about five minutes and then i take off my plastic bag i remember doing that okay so let's talk about the new process yes i am keeping wednesday as my day where i exfoliate and do the most every single day we just rinse with water and keep it moving i do not have a diy oil if i had it i would use it but i haven't made a new batch it's just been a lot going on guys grief is a mother okay so i don't have that uh but once i do make it i'll start incorporating it the same way i just mentioned i would but on the day uh, especially on the days that i do exfoliate so to exfoliate since i'm not using the brush and the sugar what i will be doing is using a chemical now these are from the ordinary very affordable here i have the glycolic acid and here i have the lactic acid now here's the thing I have glycolic acid. I have sensitive dry skin. I only use this in like major problem areas, which are my underarms and other places <laughs> uh, that need attention. But as far as my face, I use the lactic acid. Glycolic acid is more for oily skin, um, oily to normal skin, acne prone type of like skin it's more hardcore compared to the lactic acid so i prefer to use this on my face so i will be using this on my scalp as well so i'm going to be using lactic acid to exfoliate my scalp and this will all be done once a week the last thing you want to do is overdo um any type of process okay whether it's physical exfoliation or chemical exfoliation you don't want to ruin the barrier of your skin so i will be doing this once every week on wednesday i'm going to keep true to the wednesday day which is tomorrow so i will be using that you know just wash my scalp with whatever shampoo i use and then just rub that over with a cotton pad and let it dry and then after that i'm actually going to go in with some uh serums and then the next day that's when i'll just go in and put this oil on top and call it a day and keep it moving um really dumbing it down not doing the most because i did a lot i did a lot it was fun and i had the energy i was young it was four or five years ago i'm now old and i don't have the time so back to the video and then i brush my hair with my boar bristle brush and i keep it moving for me that counts as a deep condition i need to make earrings again good god 
gorgeous i'm not yet at the point where i'm using moisturizers creams and deep conditioners and masks because Ooh, masks at the moment i have more scalp Honestly, than hair you doing all this chemical exfoliation and stuff i'm not planning on doing masks and stuff until i have hair just like i mentioned here i don't need that that's for my hair not for my scalp so i haven't even thought of that but i'm excited to try new products and oh the love of hair the, it's the passion is coming back it's coming back it's all coming back it's all coming back to me now you know i just cringed when i was singing in this video i'm singing now oh my gosh i'm done I with that help. i'm done for the day i'm done for wednesday now from thursday mm -hmm. to tuesday the oil i use in my hair is this one now before i use this oil every single day at least once a day sometimes i do it in the morning and in the evening but most of the times it's usually in the morning in the evening if i'm too tired i'm just like bye i spritz my hair with this water in this water i do have eucalyptus oil and rosewood oil mix those two oils together and tell me that's not the best smell you smelled in a while tell them girl oh smells so good so Right now, all I have is water. I'm waiting for these oils to come in. I ordered some more. So this is just my water bottle. I have a new spritzer that's coming that I'm going to add my, infuse with my oils. But here is just water. So for now, I'm just using water and that's it. Eucalyptus but is yeah, healing and my that. son just started school and he's coming home with a lot of germs. His nose is sniffling and coughing and all of that. So a little eucalyptus Pain. is never bad for anyone. Okay. Clear up the passage. Okay. We need to breathe. <laughs> I do spray this on my scalp every single day. That was two weeks growth. Let's see if the bleach didn't freaking ruin everything. Will I get that in two weeks? I don't know. Scalp and hair. I spray it on my head every single day. And after that, I give myself a little nice rub, make sure that it's everywhere, everywhere, you know? And then after that, I follow up with this. I used to have hand in hair syndrome. Now I have hand in scalp, so hand on good. scalp syndrome. Uh. I'm constantly touching my hair okay. and even if it's not it's itchy, not. even if my scalp is not itchy, I sometimes just find myself scratching because I guess force of habit, I guess. So I do love to use this. I'm not using this because this is a new bottle. I'm going to be using this one. We can use every drop, okay? Every drop because it's not cheap. <laughs> every cent counts. It does have a pipette. Does it have a pipette? Okay. This show you guys okay, how girl. much I use. I usually use it this much. Take me back okay. to biology. This is the blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment, okay? It's supposed to stimulate your scalp, combat dandruff, relieve itching, refresh the scalp, prevent dryness, and encourage hair growth at the follicle level. Then after that, I then use the oil um, all good. over. Oh my God, it feels so good. It's so refreshing. They did um, improve the formula. I loved the old one. I love this one too. It's just annoying when things are changed, but thank God it still works. For my scalp and it feels pretty good i'm trying not to mess up my makeup because i've already put on my makeup <laughs> but yeah i get it in my edges everywhere what i then do is grab my boar bristle brush and just brush my hair just to make it look a little decent a little neat look like you're somebody's Sorry, mother look like you're somebody's mother walk around looking like you're not somebody's mother time I'm touching my head or applying yes. a product I give myself a little massage yes. massages help stimulate that yes. blood flow your blood yes. is bringing up nutrients those nutrients are feeding your follicles your hair is gonna grow your hair is gonna every be healthy day. all right so this is what I do to my hair every day so all right wow that you. was I will um, see you guys that was tomorrow, interesting and fun maybe. to go down memory lane video, okay? hopefully Bye. what I said uh, gave you an idea of what Hope you got something from this video. If not, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. I appreciate all of that, okay? I'm gonna go now and do some more research because I used to bag my bald head, y'all. I used to bag it. Mm! See you later. See you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye. <laughs>